Hi, this is Keith Townsend of www.virtualizedgeek.com. This is a continuation of our class on the introduction of cloud computing. We'll talk about the different components of an infrastructure as a service. Specifically, we'll focus on the cloud manager. So I did want to have a quick review of the material from the last video. We talked about the characteristics of a cloud computing environment, the service models, and the deployment models. I wanted to highlight two of the characteristics of a cloud computing environment versus a virtualized environment. Those two being that a cloud environment is usually, or not usually, actually on demand in the self-service. And we measure the service that we provide to our customers. The service models include software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. Software as a service, uh, we gave the examples of email. Platform as a service, we gave the example of a customer building an application based on salesforce.com. And infrastructure as a service is the AWS computing type model of cloud computing. Deployment models, private cloud, for a single organization, community cloud for a subset of a, of a community of users, and then public cloud is widely available to all hybrid cloud being a combination of any of those three previous cloud models. So the different stacks of the cloud computing model are the cloud manager, compute, storage, and network. The cloud manager is commonly referred to as the orchestration layer, which is what we'll talk about throughout this video. The three other layers, the compute, storage, and network, we're fairly familiar with at this point if we've done virtualization at all. Uh, the compute stack is obviously our server and virtualization platform, storage, our uh, obviously where our data and storage will reside and then network public private how shared network resources we'll talk to those other three models in detail in future videos so we're going to jump right into the cloud manager the cloud manager as we've stated before is the most critical component of your cloud computing platform or offering. Uh, the cloud manager serves as the interface to your customers to their cloud. It provides an administrative interface for your system administrators and I call it the plumbing of the cloud. In this image we're depicting users who are accessing applications that are stored in the cloud. We give a generic uh, set of applications. It can be an email application, database application, uh, development workstations, SharePoint. Uh, then uh, the cloud manages the infrastructure of the cloud environment. So the physical servers, the storage, the network, the virtualization software. Uh, the cloud manager provides the whole orchestration of all those components. We'll take a look at each one of those components individually and talk about its relationship to the cloud manager. So some of the features of your typical cloud manager, this list is not meant to be exhaustive, but I think these are some of the minimum things that you want to look for in a cloud manager. Uh, the data center management. Uh, so basically, uh, if a user decides that they want to provision a machine with three gig of RAM, uh, two CPUs, and 20 gig of disk space, the cloud manager needs to talk to your storage. It needs to talk to uh, your hypervisor, and it needs to talk to your network to provide that virtual machine. Uh, it needs to have chargeback features. So how much of a resource does a uh, end user use or a computing uh, provision set of computing resources uh, use? Amazon actually has some pretty advanced features for their chargeback model. 
Amazon is actually able to charge you based on the uptime of your nodes versus uh, the the total amount of pool resources that you've been provisioned at the beginning of the month. So in, instead of billing you monthly for that uh, three gig workstation with two two CPU cores and 20 gig of disk space and X amount of network bandwidth, they actually charge you just for the amount of time that node is up. Network management a lot of uh, features that you would expect in uh, your network application solution will be pushed down to the cloud manager. I don't think that's as critical as a note as a need, but it should have some type of network management features. At the very minimum, you need to be able to speak to the network to provision network resources. Virtual machine management, obviously you need to be able to uh, shut down, restart, uh, potentially make snapshots of virtual machines, provisioning, we get just gave an example of provisioning, and then image repository is something that's commonly overlooked. Basically, if I'm going to roll out 30 new Windows uh, 2008 machines, uh, how do I get the ISO or the machine image up to the provider if I have a 10 meg internet connection and I need to uh, create 80 machines. There needs to be some type of image repository or ability to create an image repository for end users to provision machines from. So the different types of cloud managers. I categorize infrastructure as a service cloud managers into two different offerings or types of solutions. We have orchestration-based solutions, and then what I define as pure cloud managers. Orchestration solutions are solutions that are built on legacy data center automation tools like HP's orchestration product. Novell has an orchestration product, and Dell just recently acquired, maybe about a year ago, a orchestration solution. So orchestration solutions are solutions that are geared towards really large data centers and automating or automating actions that could be scripted such as the provisioning of let's say a hundred servers uh the provisioning of storage to servers anything that you can think of that a large data center would have to do time in and time again and that would quite re normally require hands-on support to do these solutions kind of take that out of the mix and allow you to uh, automate the data center. Those are really great solutions. And what these companies have done have basically taken these solutions and bolted a cloud manager interface on top of those solutions to allow you to have that automation as well as those components of a cloud manager that we need to offer shared infrastructures uh, to a cloud, a set of cloud customers. Uh, on the other side of the spectrum, we have what I would like to call pure cloud manager. So Eucalyptus, Abiquo, Open, Stack, Cloud Stack. These are solutions that are built specifically from the ground up to be cloud managers. Uh, very similar when you look at the the objective they have very similar objectives they want to meet those five criteria of a cloud environment but they approach it in a different way because they've built the applications with the ideal of providing cloud-based services and not just data center orchestration so what are some of the offerings in cloud managers we have vCloud or VMware's vCloud Director, which obviously only supports uh, all VMware hypervisor environments. So if you want to leverage uh, less expensive hypervisors such as uh, KVM or uh, your included licensing with Hyper-V, vCloud or vCloud Director is really not a big option for you. A uh, solution that we don't have much about anymore eucalyptus uh eucalyptus is a very mature open source product 
that also has a, uh, a paid for option. Cloud Stack, again, a lot of news and uh, a lot of recent news on Citrix leaving the OpenStack uh, camp and joining the Cloud Stack solution. OpenStack, which is the originally Rackspace sponsored open source product. Uh, you can go to Virtualized Geek to read about both the Cloud Stack and OpenStack uh, solutions. The Novell uh, solution, which uh, is now been acquired by a new company, but they still have their solution out. Then a solution by a smaller company called Abiquo, which is a multi hypervisor solution uh, that had at one time a open source project, but I think in the past year and a half, I haven't seen that project being able to be downloaded. All of the all of these solutions, with the accession of vCloud, provide support for multiple hypervisors. So Eucalyptus, CloudStack, OpenStack, Novell, and Abacol all offer cross-platform hypervisor solutions. I want to caveat that with a couple of the solutions that are open source. The Apoquo open source solution, uh, or at least the open source solution that they had on a market a while back ago, and the Eucalyptus solution, as well as the Novell solution, uh, have open source type models. But if you want to support vSphere, you most definitely have to go with the paid model. CloudStack and OpenStack, on the other hand, are completely open source um, solutions, both of which, if you're needing to roll a cloud today, uh, you'll have to spend some development dollars if you're planning on rolling a private cloud or your own public or hybrid cloud. You'll have to spend some development dollars to get the cloud to where you need it to be capability-wise when we talked about all those features. So that was the introduction to uh, cloud managers and infrastructure as a service, our continued conversations. We'll continue these conversations on uh, future conversations will be focused around storage and networking and we'll uh, dabble a little bit into security as well. Again, if you want to learn more about virtualization, uh, cloud computing or technology in general, I encourage you to visit my website www.virtualizedgeek.com. Thanks.